Hi, this is Dr. Alan Mendelson from My Surgeons and Consultants in Hollywood, Florida. Today I'm going to talk about eye tumors. Eye tumors being, first of all, primary tumors that involve the eye, such as melanoma lymphoma, but second of all, tumors that can result from a metastasis from tumors elsewhere in the body. But before I get started, I want to talk about something very important, and that is dilation of the pupil. When an eye exam is performed, it is vitally important to dilate the pupil so that we can see the entire back of the eye. If an ophthalmologist were to look through a non-dilated pupil, even with years of experience, researchers say that one will see about 7% of the entire retinal surface area. But if the pupil's widely dilated, then we have a phenomenal view of the entire back of the eye. So why is this important? Well, first of all, if somebody has a retina tear, retina whole retina detachment, we're going to pick it up by having a well-dilated pupil. But also, there are many systemic diseases, 20, 30, 40 of them, everything from diabetes to hypertension to collagen vascular diseases, and the list goes on and on whereby there can be eye issues that can develop, and it's very important to pick them up quickly. When looking through a small, non-dilated pupil, things clearly are going to be missed. But a whole other aspect of the reason for the dilation, it will pick up tumors of the eye. Now, I face this scenario every week, as do colleagues of mine, where a patient will come in, they're used to going to the mall to just to get their eyeglass prescription or contact lenses, and they do not have the eyes dilated. And they feel that the person doing the exam is actually doing them a favor. Well, in reality, they're doing a major disservice because, again, if there are problems in the back, the sooner they're picked up, the better. And a very glaring example of this is tumors of the eye, whether it's a primary cancer or a metastasis from elsewhere. So let's start with adults, primary cancer. The two most common by far are ocular melanoma and an ocular lymphoma. With a melanoma, it's the most common of all primary cancer. It is vitally important to pick it up quickly. And the reason is this. If the melanoma in the eye is picked up quickly, and it's contained by treatment within the eye itself, the five-year survival rate of a primary ocular melanoma is about 80%. On the other hand, if the melanoma is not detected till after it's already metastasized elsewhere, usually the liver, the five-year survival rate dramatically plummets from about 80% down to 15%. So 15% of people with the melanoma has metastasized elsewhere, less than 15% chance they're going to survive five years or more. This is obviously a brutally devastating thing. Time is of the essence to pick up the tumors. Now, even more common than a primary ocular melanoma or lymphoma is to actually get a metastasis from elsewhere in the body. Uh, in adults, the six most common, number one by far, breast cancer metastasizing to the eye, second most common, lung cancer, the breast and the lung cancers metastasizing to the eye, probably represent about 50, five zero, about 50% of all the cancers elsewhere that metastasize to the eye. But other common places that we worry about, prostate, esophagus, GI, kidney, those are probably numbers three, four, five, and six. Yes, they definitely can occur, but again, breast and lung are far more common. Now, a person with breast cancer who has a metastasis to the eye, the very vast majority, 97, 98, 99% of these patients are already aware of the fact that they have breast cancer. 
So um, it's not very common for the ophthalmologist to be the first one to pick it up. In my 30 year career, I've actually had two patients. We're on a dilated exam. I saw that there was a metastasis to a structure called the choroid. In the back of the eye, we have the retina. Immediately behind the retina is a choroid and they had choroidal metastasis. So two people in my career, totally unaware that they had breast cancer, that I saw clearly, uh-oh, got a big problem, referred immediately to the oncologist, and it turns out they had primary breast cancer that they were unaware of. But this is less common scenario, again, high 90%, already are aware that yes, breast cancer is present, but it's important that we look to make sure uh, that the eye is not involved with the metastasis. If it is the origination from the breast to the eye, it's more common that it's in both eyes and sometimes there can be multiple sites. The second most common by far is lung cancer. Now with lung cancer, it's a totally different scenario in that when there's a metastasis to the eye, over 50% of people are totally unaware that they even have the lung cancer in the first place. I know it sounds really surprising, but again, over 50% of people where a metastasis is picked up in the back of the eye, they have no clue that they have the lung cancer in the first place. But again, any time that we as the ophthalmologist see signs that there is a metastasis immediately we make the referral to the oncologist. I believe that someone should see the oncologist within 24, 48, 72 hours to absolutely jump on the head to toe workup, find out what's going on, what the primaries are. Now, unfortunately, we all wish there were never metastases. It can happen. The eye is one of the more common locations. Now, if there is a metastasis to the eye, you have to look elsewhere in addition because for every ocular metastasis, about 75% of these patients in addition have a non-ocular metastasis as well, meaning that they have a second or even a third metastasis. So again, breast cancer, lung cancer are one and two. There are others that can cause it as well. And the cancers, whether it's a primary cancer, the melanoma lymphoma, or the metastasis that we just talked about, the sooner it's picked up, the better. Not only can it save the eye, but even more importantly, it can save someone's life. So at times, will a patient say, hey, my previous doc was a good sport, didn't nag me or bother me to have the eyes dilated? You're not doing yourself a favor. Please, please schedule whenever works out well for you, but you always want to have your eyes dilated. Assuming that everything is terrific, at least once a year, a dilated ocular examination should be performed. If there are issues like diabetes, hypertension, thyroid eye disease, more common. If you have a history of known cancer, more frequent examinations, very important as well. In addition to the dilation, we'll do an OCT, optical coherence tomography test. And actually the OCT at times can pick up a very subtle malignancy even before the patient is aware of any symptoms. Now, from my experience, the majority of people, if they have the primary ocular tumor, or they have the metastasis, the vast majority are asymptomatic. They're totally unaware there's a problem. Some people, though, will notice a decline in vision. Some people will notice a loss in peripheral vision or what seems to be a blind spot in their vision. And lastly, some patients will come in saying that they see some flashing lights. Those flashing lights, though, are nonspecific. It's more common to happen with a posterior vitreous detachment where the vitreous gel separates, also can commonly com caused by retinal tears, holes, detachments, um, migraines. You can have the see the perception of flashing lights, but we also worry about tumors. So, bottom line again, 
one always wants to have a comprehensive eye examination. I should definitely be dilated. Ideally, an OCT in addition could be very, very helpful. But if you're not sure, if in doubt, definitely things should be checked out. Um, and for those who unfortunately do have the history of cancer, you want to make sure that you have the frequent follow-up with the ophthalmologist just to make sure that there aren't the metastasis. And usually, again, happens to the choroid, which is adjacent to the retina. Thank you very much.